fascinating history about Lorenzo de' Medici the Magnificent. Hello and welcome! Before we get started, I kindly ask you to please subscribe, like and share this channel, as well as your favorite videos. Thank you so much! Lorenzo de' Medici, also known as the Magnificent, was a banker, diplomat and in all practice, the ruler of the Florentine Republic. His life coincided with the splendor of the early Italian Renaissance and Lorenzo was the greatest and most passionate promoter of this artistic culture, being a great patron of artists such as Botticelli and Michael Angelo, and thus he led the last stage of the fantastic golden age of the city of Florence. Lorenzo received his title of El Magnifico in this way. Whoever ruled the Republic of Florence accepted the designation of Gonfaloniere, the highest political rank one could achieve, and the Florentine people called this person Magnifico. Usually, a man would have to be at least 45 years old to achieve this degree. Lorenzo, at 21, became the youngest ruler in the history of Florence and with all the outstanding achievements he made during his life, the title of the Magnificent remained aptly put. Lorenzo ruled Florence without being officially a prince or king of this territory, since his power came from the large amounts of money he paid to the leaders of the government boards, as well as the strategic marriages of his own family, which secured their uncontested position. Lorenzo also headed the balance of power between the Italian League, which was a treaty made by the great Italian powers, guaranteeing a fragile peace in their regions. Lorenzo being the main supporter of the League, rejected the ambitious territorial advances of the Papal States, guided by Pope Sixtus IV, the same Pope who built the most famous sanctuary in the Vatican, one that still bears his own name, the Sistine Chapel. Lorenzo's regional dismissals made him the main subject of an attempt on his life by a rival Florentine family, the Pazzis, who harbored great enemies envy of the authority exercised by El Magnifico. This horrific event occurred inconceivably on a Sunday while mass was being celebrated in a church. Lorenzo, who was a glorious swordsman, managed to defend himself, but his brother Giuliano sadly did not make it. Allegedly, the attacking group acted with the blessing of Pope Sixtus IV, who issued a careful statement that while his saintly position did not permit sanction of a massacre, the removal of the Medicis from the power in Florence would be of enormous benefit to the Holy See. Lorenzo's grandfather, Cosimo de' Medici, was the first member of the Medici family to run the Republic of Florence and the Medici Bank simultaneously. Cosimo spent much of his personal fortune on the government and philanthropy of the city, thus strengthening the extraordinary dynasty of future Medicis who would be regents of Florence. Lorenzo, according to his contemporaries, was wildly described as not so magnificent in his physical presence, but he had a charming personality that made him enormously popular. He was also an outstanding poet, and one of his most impressive works, entitled Triumph, is a reflection on the brevity of our lives and the impulse to live the moment to the fullest. Lorenzo married a member of a very powerful house in Rome. Although the marriage was not for love, but to strengthen Lorenzo's political alliances. When Lorenzo the Magnificent died in 1492, the delicate peace that had been maintained between the great Italian territories immediately collapsed. What about you? Do you know any other interesting facts about Lorenzo de' Medici the Magnificent? Write them in the comments below. And as always, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.